and there was nothing left, nothing left of the individual who'd had all those experiences, nothing left of the idea that I was real and that the world was real. All of that simply fell away and all that was left was nothing being everything. So this, this, what's happening, what seems to be going on, can't be fixed as a knowing experience. That is always an imposition of an illusory separation. That's the only thing that seems to be known. When that illusory separation falls away, what's revealed, in contrast to the experience that this appearance is conditional, that love is conditional, that freedom is conditional, is the reflection of that no thing or the unknowable, that really everything is unconditional. There is only what's actually happening. I feel also, I just throw in at this point, uh, the thing I usually say at this point, which I think, you know, to say that, to say in fact what we're saying is there is no past and future. Actually, I'm saying there isn't a present either. <laughs> there is just this that in one sense that's extremely challenging for the mind. In another sense, it's absolutely obvious. It's what I call, it's in the realm of the bleeding obvious. But there is just this, nothing else exists. What's been said today is it's nothing to do with understanding. The person thinks that they're going to get something or understand something and then they'll be there. <laughs> It's not noble, it's not gettable, it's not understandable, and it's actually to do with a resonance, it's an energetic resonance that for the person can feel very confronting because the personal energy is a closed loop of knowing, living in your own knowing, and this is unknowable. But again, what this message is saying, what this apparent message is saying is that there is no separation and that there is no separate standpoint. Very simplified spoken, one could say that just isn't anyone. There is no separation. It doesn't happen. It's a dream. It's an illusion.